Representative Sen. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Uh, for the record, I am Tana Sen, State Representative from the 41st Legislative District. This bill is about what government should and shouldn't be involved in. Right now, our law enforcement officers are in the business of reducing crime and keeping us safe. But many of our police departments are also in the business of selling firearms back into the community. And that's not a business we should be in. These are guns that are legally acquired through due process as a result of a criminal investigation. Many of these guns have been used in crimes or found on persons prohibited from possessing firearms because of felonies or domestic violence charges. But these guns, if not kept by law enforcement agencies for their use, are often sold by police to licensed dealers. Now we're not talking about major federally licensed firearm dealers like Cabela's or Walmart. They're not looking for inexpensive guns that have been taken from a criminal. We're talking about anyone with an FFL who is going to turn, uh, turn around and sell the firearm to a purchaser and probably not at a premium, which is fine because that's the business they're in. My concern is that government shouldn't be a middleman. We should not be in the business of selling guns. Think about the risk we're assuming. As a former city council member, as a legislator, and as a mom, I can't imagine learning through an investigation that a school shooting, a mass murder, a violent crime, or a suicide could have been prevented if we had not sold that gun. Nothing in this bill will change when, why, or how firearms are removed from possession by law and local law enforcement can keep weapons if they choose. This bill is about a surplus of guns that law enforcement already has. The criminals have already lost their gun. I'll close by just asking each of you, how would you feel to learn a gun used in a crime was once in law enforcement possession? That maybe we could have interrupted the chain of events. Would you feel comfortable? I know, especially as a mom, I would not. Thank you. Representative Shea. Thank you, Madam Chair. Representative Sen, we're, we're kind of struggling up here because automobiles account for 35 times more deaths accidentally for children between the ages of 0 and 14. And yet we have local law enforcement selling cars. So do we not assume the same liability and risks with cars? And I mean, what's the, I mean really, what's the difference, especially if cars are 35 times more likely to cause an accidental death? Actually, in Washington state last year, more people were killed by guns than by cars. So actually, we are. So actually, so actually I, I am, we I am are. Reading, I am reading the Department of Health statistics, okay, up through 2010, between ages 0 and 14. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, this is their statistics. I'm reading directly from the page. So again, liability issue. I want to keep it on this question, not, not emotional. Liability and risks, why are we not assuming more risks selling cars from local law enforcement? I'd be happy to join you in a bill if you'd like to work on that. I will tell you that Pam Wechter was not 0 to 14. I will tell you that a number of the people that people have testified about losing were not 0 to 14. I'm very concerned about violent deaths for children, but I'm also concerned about violent deaths for adults, uh, whether it's suicide or it's, uh, it's a crime, it's a crime against other people. So you might be focused only on 0 to 14, but I'm, I'm concerned about the entire community and I'm focused and this legislation is focused around firearms. I'd be more Thank than happy you. to work with you and, and uh, I care about our kids as well. Thank, Thank you. you.